video in a long time. Sometimes video for me can be a little distracting, like when I'm trying to get something done and and uh, Kira's there with the camera. But uh, a lot has happened. I mean, the motor is in permanently. Um, everything's wired up. It's fully electrified. I mean, we could drive it down the road, but we've jumped into the interior. Uh, the cooling system is all bled of air, so it's it's really it's really nice. The the coolant goes both through the batteries and the motor controller, so we have a little valve where we can we can kind of divide um, where the flow goes. So what I'll be doing is when we start doing range tests, I'll be looking at the temperature of both the motor controller and the batteries, and making sure the motor controller gets enough cooling and the battery gets enough cooling by by uh, altering that valve. So I'll be, that'll be set. Uh, we have a nice uh, uh, air co air cooled radiator in there that the fluid travels through. So it ends up uh, when you're coming down the road, it utilizes these VW scoops, which normally used to cool the engine, the gasoline engine. The air is going to come down and go blast right through our our uh, radiator for our cooling system. So that's pretty nice. And of course, everything needs to be wired in a way that when you turn your key. You want certain things to come on. There's certain things you don't want to come on. Um, then when you plug your vehicle in, you want certain things to come on. So there's a there's a there's quite an intense relay system in there to make sure that everything is is uh, working uh, properly. And also safety wise, you have to make sure that when you're plugged in, you can't drive away. All right, so we're chopping the top off of this uh, perfectly good uh, VW bus here. Um, we're gonna add the bed and the hole um, up through, which would normally have been kind of a moonroof. We're gonna pop this top 40 inches, so you'll have a nice sleeping area up top and a sitting space. Hey there, so we're putting in the column lifts which are going to lift the, the top of the VW up about 40 inches so that you'll have a nice bed um, back behind me and you'll also have an ability to stand up in the kitchen and you know access all your, your uh, appliances and your sink. So there'll be another actuator there on that side and then there'll be two more in the back and when you hit your button, you will raise the roof. So we got the actuators mounted. It was kind of a little tricky deal there. I had to mount them in that spot so I could maintain my uh, spare tire area and also uh, get them as close to the edge there as I could to keep them out of the way. The front ones are gonna get hidden behind Kira's uh, cabinets and then she's gonna use, these are steel, so she's gonna have some nice little metal spice racks that hang on there and such. So that's been challenging integrating all of Kira's work with mine, but that's what you have to do when you're married, you have to integrate. Alright, here's our first cross member, the most important cross member because it's got to handle all the weight of someone hanging out here for a little bit. No worries, that's why I made it out of steel instead of aluminum so it'd be nice and rigid. And also this lip here is what'll handle the plywood which is going to go that way. And we're going to just start building sections now. This comes out and goes all the way to the back. So as I'm building these, I'm putting them in in ways that can easily be removed. So this is the best of both worlds. You'll see a lot of this with this vehicle, it's modular. Um, when you're in the kitchen, we have a piece that will slide out of your way so you can easily increase your elbow room in the kitchen, but also put this piece out for your bed at night and have a nice, you know, long bed so your feet aren't dangling. Red is about 6'2", so I wanna make sure that uh, his feet don't get cold. I am the flame and I'm so 